Did you know that the first black person to be published in the English language is actually from New Hampshire? Harriet E. Wilson was born in 1825 in Milford, New Hampshire. When her parents could no longer afford to raise her, they were forced to give her up into indentured servitude to a local family. When she was freed, she lived a super interesting life. She had a successful hair product business, and she also became very prominent in the spiritualist movement where she used her platform to speak out about labor reform and children's education. However, she did live in poverty her whole life, and she had to give up her only son into indentured servitude just as she was. Harriet's book is mostly fictional, but it does reflect many of her real life experiences, especially the brutal abuse that she faced when she was an indentured servant. She uses her book to criticize many of the social institutions around her, especially the local Milford abolitionist community. She famously wrote that most of these white abolitionists would never actually have a black person in their home over for dinner. Unfortunately, the book was largely ignored and it was actually forgotten until the 1980s and previously assumed to be written by a white woman. It was rediscovered by scholar Henry Louis Gates Jr. The Harriet Wilson Project was founded in 2003 by Jerry Ann Bogus, who's now our executive director of Black Heritage Trail. Harriet is now memorialized in Milford's Bicentennial Park with a statue that features her book in her outstretched arm and her son by her side. The thing that's most impactful about learning about this story for me is that I actually grew up in Milford and I was never really taught about Harriet Wilson in school. It's really crazy to think about the fact that Harriet Wilson's story was forgotten and buried for the same hypocrisy that she talks about in her book, which is that the northern states want to maintain this reputation of being innocent and never having slavery. And that's why it's so important for us to be telling these stories. So follow Black Heritage Trail on TikTok to learn more.